Hey, what's up guys? Um, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is Sabrina. Um, this is like, you know, my home channel. I talk about everything from beauty to just our regular vlogging of our life. Um, I finally am able to record the last video I posted on my page was finding out that I am pregnant. That was Oh my God, um, August, July, July, August. That was like in July that I posted that. And this is like three months later. Um, so I am basically updating you guys on my pregnancy. Yes, I'm still pregnant. Thank God. I've been following everything by the book and I'm super happy. Um, symptoms as far in, I'm sorry, I'm 20 weeks and four days, 20 weeks and five days today. Um, so it's like in the fifth month range, um, symptoms as far as second trimester, uh, I don't really have a lot of symptoms anymore. The first trimester was pretty bad for me, but right now I may like randomly vomit, get nauseous and vomit, but that's random. Maybe like once every other week, if that, um, my cravings are like salty foods or snacks. And anything icy, anything cold, I need it. I haven't been craving ice cream. I'm not a big fan of ice cream during this pregnancy. So, yeah. Um, other cravings. That's it. Just salty foods. Um, I've been craving a lot of more greens and vegetables like salads and stuff. Like, I crave that a lot more. Um, back to my uh, symptom, symptoms that I have in the second trimester. Again, it's not really much. Just random nauseous and vomiting. Um, what else? Oh, it's very uncomfortable for me to sleep. Uh, very uncomfortable. It's like in my belly area. I can't really explain it, but it's, I'm always out of breath when I'm trying to sleep. Uh, I guess because the baby is just nudging everything over and it's just super, uh, um, other symptoms. I'm very emotional. Before I was pregnant, I was emotional already. Like, emotional like I would I cried on The Fault in Our Stars the best movie ever I cried on The Last Avengers uh sorry if I'm spoiling it but when um Iron Man died uh and I've been like super emotional crying about everything um even sometimes um uh, my husband's asked me he's like hey what are you crying for I'm like I really don't know but I'm, I'm crying babe and then sometimes I'm like babe I'm disgusting like just look at me I'm disgusting and I would cry about that so that would be like the third uh, symptom or side effect that I'm having in my second trimester um that's about it it's going by and I'm happy it's going by pretty quickly um let's see so I will, towards the end of the video, I will be giving you guys a bump update also because you, I didn't, I didn't have a bump when I posted the first video about uh, my pregnancy. Um, I'm going to show you guys a couple of ultrasounds for those of you that have kids, you know how the ultrasounds and how to depict what's what. And you guys, I'm having a boy. Yes, we are having a really awesome, handsome, handsome baby boy exactly what I wanted um I would have accepted a girl I'm totally fine I've been trying for a baby for a while so give me whatever give me twins if you want I'm totally fine with it um let's see here uh baby shower um I am gonna have one I was going back and forth about having a baby shower um I'm just that person where I feel like no one's gonna show up so I don't want to like waste my time or whatever trying to put together a baby shower to celebrate our baby and no one comes and it would just be a total like party pooper moment for me but my mom's like no you're having one this is your first child so yeah you are going to have one I was like okay if you're putting the bill ma'am <laughs> so my mom's paying for most of it I said I was gonna help because I just can't let anyone wholeheartedly like pay for something that's just for us you know um so that baby shower will be in February. I'm due March 27th 
2020. Uh, I have been told I may have him a little bit early because he is weighing a little bit more than how far I am. Um, he, he weighs a, a couple ounces more than what he should be, which is not bad. Um, so I'm going to show you guys this ultrasound was at 13 weeks. I'm going to show you guys this and they could not get a good picture of him at all. So I'm going to show you guys the only good picture they had gotten of the baby. Okay. You guys are going to love. Literally up side down okay kicking mommy everything of the nature like this is the only good picture they got of him the other ones it was kind of blurry and he was turning and flipping so it's not much you could have really saw on these because he kept moving i was like that's what i get for drinking orange juice before my appointment so yesterday was our anomaly scan, uh, which is basically them checking, making sure the baby, baby's organs, everything is measuring perfectly, making sure it's developing the right way, making sure just baby is growing in the right direction. And I have to admit, I do not take my vitamins every day. I just don't. I feel like I, I intake enough nutrients with what I eat to where like it's okay if I skip a couple of days or I skip a day here and there from taking my vitamin gummies. Um, and my skin yesterday basically proved that I was right. Like I'm intaking enough nutrients for baby early cut to still grow and have all the function of the organs really well, uh, really well uh, put together and growing. Um, so I mean, yeah, I'm not a big vitamin taker person. <laughs> I'm only taking them because the baby needs the extra nutrients since I had my VSG surgery. Um, I don't take a lot of food anymore, but when I do intake food, I make sure it's nutrient rich to where the baby gets what it needs, especially if I don't take a vitamin that day. Um, and again, I take the gummy, the gummy vitamins, uh, prenatal vitamins, they're right, way easier for me. Uh, I kept gagging and um, I almost basically was choking on one of the regular vitamins. It had gotten stuck and lodged in my throat literally i was vomiting and it came right back up like <clears throat> after that i was like no i have to do the gummies so um this is just some pictures we were able to get way better pictures yesterday which is amazing um because like i said the last ultrasound we only got one good picture and it was of him upside down and i was 13 weeks right now i'm 20 weeks so uh, my next appointment is in four weeks so I should be about mm, 25 weeks along so the second half of this pregnancy is gonna go back so quick I know it is I know it so I'm gonna show you the Evie's stuff. let me see so he started to cover his face she was trying to get a good little snippet of his face but see his arms are here and that's his hands covering his face here um Let's see. And we found that we were having a boy at 13 weeks. Um, the tech told us, but it was supposed to be a little secret. She's like, well, I can see it. It's sticking out. If you want me to just tell you what it is. I was like, yeah, tell us. And she told us it was a boy. And this scan basically, like, basically confirmed that it was a boy. But I knew it was a boy from all my symptoms that I was having and stuff. And other people that have kids saying that the same symptoms I had, they had when they had their boys only. Um, but yeah, this is like a little profile picture of him. So handsome. That's mommy little baby. Oh my God. And this is him. He was swallowing some am amniotic fluid. There, that's why it's that dark line there from his mouth. Um, he did really good for mommy until towards the end. And this is how we know it's a boy. Because his little weeder whacker is just like, hello. Hello there, people. Um, let's see. And he has um well-developed feet, hands, all that stuff. This is like my favorite profile picture of him. The last ones she had gotten. Oh my god! Like, oh, I'm so excited. Okay. <sighs> okay, I'm so out of breath. So, uh, basically, I was just getting on here to update you guys. Everything's going pretty well. Um. I couldn't have asked for a better pregnancy. Of course, it was bumpy in the beginning. I think that's for a lot of people and especially being your first, you know, baby, full-term baby. Um, I'm just so blessed. I'm so happy. Um, 
yeah, I'm super excited. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys a bump update. Um, okay, can you see the belly? Let me see. All right, so this is the belly, and this is 20 weeks. Um, y'all, these pants make me look so big, but I'm really not, like, I weigh, like, 160. These are some huge pants. This is when I was bigger. This was last year before I lost, like, almost 200 pounds. This is what these pants come from. But, yeah. Bump up day. Bam. I'll give you the other side. Bam. Everyone thinks that this is my belly button, but it's just my incision scar. <laughs> okay. Voila. You have the big belly now side profile here and I have a lot of skin because when I uh, had the weight loss surgery of course I lost weight really quickly and it left a lot of skin um but yeah this is baby um and I definitely feel him move like all the time he's always moving you guys my breasts are huge bam they grew <laughs> so much of course um but yeah, this is the bump. <sighs> and I feel every stretch he does, every kick, every hiccup, whatever, mommy feels it. Um, yeah, so this is him. This is a 20 week, four day belly on me. My friend, she was, she was at the same mark and literally you still couldn't tell that she was pregnant. So again, everyone, you know, they grow differently. Some people may not pop a belly until about six months or seven months. It's just everybody's different. Um, but yeah, this is the belly. Super excited. Um, let's see here. So I'll probably most likely be posting a video. Um, probably at my 30 week mark. Um, let you guys know how that goes. Updating you guys to see if I'm going to do natural labor or if I'm going to Go ahead and do epidural. I'm still, I'm, right now I'm leaning towards natural labor. Um, and then when I choose natural labor, I have to decide if I want to do it in the birthing center, which is right on the same property as women's hospital, or if I want to do it in the hospital, but just natural, everything's going to be natural and stuff. And uh, if anything happens to where I would need an epidural, I could get one. You know, that's the big thing for me. So, um, yeah, I will be updating you guys about that probably when I'm around 30 weeks, maybe a little bit before. I know, again, I haven't been posting um, as I should. I've just been, um, I've been taking in the pregnancy. I've been taking in, like, the symptoms. I've been taking in just being a mommy soon.